streets of Grand Teton National Park in Wyoming are now closed to the public as a dangerous fissure has opened. Teton is a portion of the greater Yellowstone National Park where North America's super volcano sits. Manila Chan is following this story, and from what I know of it, this goes beyond any natural disaster movie we've ever seen, potentially. Well, what is scarier than real life, Colin? It's the height of tourist season, as you know, right now at Yellowstone National Park, so you can imagine a ton of disappointed visitors this week. But there's this 100-foot horizontal crack along a rock wall at Grand Teton. It emerged recently, and park officials fear it may be connected to the supervolcano located nearby. Now, Park Superintendent David Vela said this. He said, quote, Human safety is our number one priority, and with an abundance of caution, we are temporarily closing this area until we can properly assess the situation. Experts say this fissure poses a number of dangers to humans in the area, fears it may continue to crack, possibly create a rock slide, just to name a few, due to the very active grounds there at Yellowstone. The National Park sits on a very active magma chamber connected to that super volcano. Now, the volcano, though, has not erupted in over 600,000 years, but they say if it did erupt, would result in a nuclear winter blocking out sunlight and showering thousands of miles in volcanic ash. It would immediately kill about 87,000 people and render about two-thirds of the United States completely uninhabitable. Now, geologists across the globe are carefully monitoring this, as well as other volcanoes that have been erupting, with the recent eruptions in Hawaii, sending hundreds fleeing for safety there. Many Americans wonder if or when the next Mount St. Helens-style eruption may occur. A little bit of history for you. Mount St. Helens erupted in 1980 in Washington State. It sent ash and debris more than 80,000 feet up into the air and into the surrounding areas. That killed about 60 people. There were rock slides immediately and later created the largest landslide ever recorded due to high-pressure gas and steam under the earth. Now, that eruption... It was preceded by a series of earthquakes for the next two months and numerous steam venting episodes all across that area. But fear not, scientists say that this crack or fissure may not be a prelude to an eruption or mass extinction just yet. Now, Holland, they say cracks to rock face happen all the time with the tecto tectonic shift plates, or plates shifting, said that backwards, and park officials just need some time to conduct some risk assessment, uh, make sure that it's okay for visitors to go back and, you know, not be injured by possibly falling rocks. Um, and the tourists should be back there hopefully pretty soon, Holland. So glass half full, uh, it hasn't happened in 600,000 years. Yes. Why would it happen now? Glass half empty, maybe we're overdue. We, we might be. You know, the earth has to do something with that pressure. Thank you, Manila Chan.